Hello everyone, this is the part of uh, any percussion ensemble concert where the director gets to talk while, uh, and cover time while we do a setup change, so that's my job here right now. Um, welcome, thank you so much for coming. This is exciting for me. Um, this is my first year directing the percussion ensemble here at Queensborough Community College. Um, a little bit about this first piece uh, that we just uh, heard. Um, so what's unique about this piece and what we really enjoyed putting together uh, in this performance was the fact that each group sort of decided on their own how to interpret the score or the music that was written by the composer, in this case, Billy Martin. Um, if any of you heard of the, the trio, Mardeski, Martin, and Wood, it's a jazz trio, they do uh, jazz band, they put jazz jam types music, uh, you'll find them at a lot of the summer music festivals, like a lot of Palooza and this sort of things. Um, so Billy Martin is the drummer for that group, and he composed the piece that we performed basically in different movements on a sheet with grids, with X's and dots. And it's up to the group to decide how to interpret those. Whether the X's mean play, whether they mean don't play, whether they mean one instrument versus another. And then he also deter gives you instructions about whether it should be in a strict rhythm or it should be free and open. Um, and so the first piece, Master P, that you heard, that was supposed to be in a strict rhythm, if you could hear. The other two were an open, where every player had the choice to be in their own world of rhythm or to lock together. It was up to them. Um, so that piece was called Stridulations. Um, now, so what we're setting up for next is a very different type of music. So what we heard was sort of contemporary percussion music, something that was composed by an American composer. Um, now we're going to play music that's traditional, and it comes from Cuba in particular. Um, what we're going to be playing is called Conga de Comparsa. That's the generic term for this music. And it's a street festival music. Uh, it used to be played during carnival time. Um, now today in Cuba, carnival usually takes place June 26, which is the Independence Day uh, of Cuba. It's when the revolution happened, when Fidel Castro uh, overtook the country with his uh, socialist movement. Um, and so Comparsa is celebrated during that time in the summer. Uh, and you have different groups and different troops that have their own style and they also have their own theme song. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is a rendition of a group called Los Dandies, and they sing a song called Los Dandies, that's what they call themselves. Um, and you'll hear a variety of instruments. Some of them have Cuban roots, like the conga drum in front. Uh, some of them have more Western roots, so you'll see, hear a drum that sounds similar to a snare drum that has a specific row. Uh, and then what you'll find in much of Afro-Cuban music is something called the cowbell or campana, and we have different versions with different parts of those. You'll hear all of those parts as well. And then finally, we have the bombo, which is essentially a bass drum. So, so you can see they're playing with a shoulder strap, with a one beater, and then usually the other hand manipulates the sound by deadening the, uh, the sound of the drum or letting it ring open. Um, there's a rhythm that's the foundation of everything we're gonna be doing, and that's called clave. Uh, that rhythm goes like this. Let's all try to clap that with Chelsea. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. And thank you very much. Yes, so, Chelsea Ryan. So, that rhythm clave is going to be the foundation of both the composite rhythm that we play, but it's also going to be what we use to do something called breaks, which are little interjections, little musical ideas that everyone plays together in unison, meaning all together at the same time. Um, also, you'll notice that I have a whistle, and that's going to help us to do the cues, and they have specific things to listen for, specific hand cues that I'll be giving to do some of the breaks, and then to do some of the breakdowns and build-ups. 
All right, so I think I've talked enough and everyone's set up. So this is Los Dandies. Con los dandis, con los dandis 